this has been one of the hardest seasons of my life. Um, a month ago here at Prefontaine, ran the slowest race of my professional career, 49.6. So then go home for a month. I said I didn't want to run another meet. I just want to train, get my mind right. Couldn't have drawn a better first two rounds. And I told myself today, I'm going to leave it all out on the track, trust God's plan, and if his will has it, I'll be an Olympian today. And thankfully, we are. When you came out of college, you were on fire, right? So did you, you know, at the Prefontaine, like how were you feeling about just where you were in, in your trajectory, and how did you get it back? I was confused. Training had been going so great. I opened up with the fast opener of my life at Drake, followed it up running slower at LA, and then running way slower at Prefontaine. I was texting Coach Hall, I was frustrated, confused. And when stuff like that happens, you kind of like start to not really like doing track and field. But I just trusted Coach Holloway, trusted the plan, trusted him to have me ready. And at the end of the day, I've always been able to be at my best when it matters most. 2022 USA's ran a PB. 2022 World's ran a PB. 23 USA's ran a season's best. 23 World's ran a PB. And now 24 Trials ran a season's best in the, I think, fourth fastest time in my life. So just knowing that I've done it at every level, high school, college, and now the pros, it gives me confidence going to these meets, no matter where I'm at, that when rubber meets the road, we have to run fast to make a team. I know I'm ready. I know I'll leave it all out there. What is that about having a back against the wall that brings the best out of you? An underdog is a hungry dog, and hungry dogs run faster. That's really all there is to it. Just knowing that it's right now, you leave nothing back from the gun you're going you feel someone come up on you you respond and just leave nothing to chance if i could have got if i ran that same way and got fourth today I, I would have been able to walk off the track knowing i gave everything i had and it just wasn't my day thankfully that wasn't the case but it's just all about the effort level and just doing everything you can so reflecting on your execution today like take us through the race and you know yeah you so so I like to do research on the people in my immediate inside and outside. Obviously, I've raced Rye a handful of times. I know he's going to get out well and finish even better. Uh, I had Caleb on my inside. Watching him in college, I know he gets out really fast. So I knew if he came up on me on the back stretch, don't freak out. That's just his running style. That's what happened. He came up on me at around four or five. And I just told myself, just respond. Come off a hurdle five, surge into that second turn, and just give everything you have. Um, my last two hurdles could have been a bit better. I didn't trust the stride pattern that much in the moment. I kind of checked up a little bit. But thankfully, I kept enough forward, forward momentum to still finish strong. I wonder what the splits are. I said the splits are still fast. They could have been better. Caleb hit a hurdle, right? I couldn't tell you. I mean, he didn't I, the race. I mean, probably. I mean, I heard him hit a hurdle, but we were like kind of side by side, so I don't know. Trevor, I guess like in 2022, like you blew up just sort of with your own sort of story with like your college coach and just the text messages and all that stuff. And I'm just curious because that was 2022. Like, it was an Olympic year the year before. Like, did you two ever talk about Olympics? We did. Um, 2021, I was here. I got eight. Um, I, could, I didn't train for a month leading up to it because I had tendonitis in both ankles. And he was a big inspiration for me. Obviously, he made four Olympic teams. And he was going to be someone who's going to be a lot of like my mentor moving forward. He passed away in 22. But I knew the Olympics were the main goal. World championships are great. They really are. But you don't get world championship tattoos. There's no opening ceremony at Worlds. The Olympics is the big deal. So coming into this meet, I just really, I still, I care. I have a different shirt on, but I have the patch. I carry him with me every day. And even though he's not physically here, I take the culture he instilled in me, the lessons he instilled in me. He's with me every step. They are going to be pumped. And I just got to say one thing, man. There's three things in life. There's death, taxes, Trevor Bassett making U.S. teams. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, guys.